It's me again, Demetrius Andrade. And if you're looking to take your fight game to the next level, try this, the fighter stack. Everything you need. Excited to be on the stage? Man, super excited. I can't wait. Uh, Saturday night, can't get here too soon. The talk that Deontay's been saying about, about wanting a body with his record, how does that make you feel when you hear it? It's not affecting me at all, man. That, that dude's reminding me like a little chihuahua. He's just barking and barking and barking. Um, I'm the big Rottweiler sitting behind the fence. As soon as the gate opens up, he gonna shut his ass up. How has the experience of being on a big stage against Joshua, how will it help you Saturday night? Um, you know, it was great. It was a, a world experience, being in a big stage in a big arena. Um, I've been there, I've done that before. Um, I think I've been through every scenario in boxing at this point. Um, you never want to see a boxer go down to the canvas, but I've been down on the canvas. I've been rattled. I've been able to get off the canvas and finish the fight and knock a guy out. So um, i got a lot of experience under my belt, man, and uh, I'm waiting to, to show it off on Saturday night. How do you think being overly emotional since there's a lot of bad blood in this fight versus no passive opponents? You guys know me best, man. I'm calm, cool, and collected, man. I, I got, no, uh, got no reason to be mad, man. I've, I've been blessed enough to be in this opportunity to fight for a world title for the second time now. And, uh, you know, I, I can't go into a fight mentally under distress and stressed out and worried about this and worried about that. If I'm worried about what Deontay Wall is going to be doing, I, I can't stick, stick mentally focused on what I'm going to be doing. Did you get extra motivation for the fact that he's kind of dismissive, like he, like he don't take you seriously? Yeah, without a doubt. I mean, that, that helped me motivate through camp, uh, helped me get up, get up in the morning, eat the right food and run the extra miles and do the extra rounds of sparring. Um, it was definitely motivating through camp. Um, at this point, I'm you know, phys physically in shape, mentally focused and ready to fight Saturday night. Are you prepared to go to deep waters like, like Fury? You got to get up and and do some craziness to Oh, yeah, without, without a doubt. That's the easy part of boxing, man. That, that, that stuff's already in there. It's, it's deep down in my soul. It's deep down in my heart, man. I've been there and done that before. Um, to be able to get off the canvas and do some things like that, it's going to be great, but I don't plan on it going that far. Man. My, my wife loves number three, and I told him to get a third-round knockout. His last couple of fights, he's had, obviously, very, very tough tests. Uh, maybe almost people thought he might have lost the last game. Do you see any weakness or slippage or anything like people that? People thought he must have lost. You guys know damn well he lost that last fight, man. He did not be Fury. Um, you know, there, there hasn't been any development on, on Wilder's situation in the last four years. He, probably in his whole professional career. He looks the same as he did as an amateur. And, and you know, he, even then he didn't look great. And, and uh, to, to, to think that he's been the champ for, you know, the WC champ for, what, four years now? Um, that's a disgrace to heavyweight division. Yeah, take it as it is, man. I, I ain't looked at it too crazy. Um, you know, in, in, in boxing, things can happen. Um, I, like I said, I've been blessed enough to get this far on a ride. I ain't never come too close to personally want to injure somebody. Um, I've had a lot of knockout wins myself. Never have I, have I wished harm upon anybody. Um, I, but at the same time, I'm a professional athlete. I'm going to carry myself as a professional. And uh, Wilder can do and say what he wants, man. That, that type of stuff is not needed in the sport of boxing. It's not needed in any sport. What do you make of him not accepting that $100 million offer to fight Joshua? You know, I, I don't know what uh, his, his uh, business antic on that was. Um, a situation like that comes and arises. You got to really sit, uh, sit and think deep on that. I'm sure there's a lot more to it. Um, but it, it leads me to believe that he thinks he can walk in the ring and, and, and conquer me um, if you're going to pass up on $100 million. That's crazy. Because a lot of fans are now saying that he's avoiding the fight. Because I know for a long time he was seeking the fight and it seemed like Joshua was avoiding the fight. And now fans are saying, wait, they gave you $100 million to fight this guy, and you're saying no. I think uh, while the situation is, he's a hype job, man. There wasn't enough yes mans in his corner telling him, yes, do it, yes, do it. And he couldn't talk to himself, he couldn't look in the mirror and talk himself into the fight. Um, so therefore, he had to pass on the deal. I think uh, if, if he had more people around him telling him, yes, you can do it, yes, you can do it, or telling himself, yes, you can, or I got this, I got this, he would have took the deal. Um, I, I think uh, he, you know, he's a mental case, man. He, he needs to talk himself into multiple situations. So you, you just mentioned he's a hype guy, and you said he's a mental case. What leads you to believe that? Just, I mean, look at him, man. He, he talks like crazy. He walks around like crazy, man. He's, he's got to say crazy things in the media about wanting to have a body on his record. Who says stuff like that? that? That doesn't make any damn sense. If you wanted to have a body on your record, you would have done it already. He's got 40-something, what, 41 fights now? What the hell you been waiting for? If, if you get that belt on Saturday, we get that, you want that rematch with Joshua. It's not if I get the belt on Saturday. It's when I get the belt on Saturday. I definitely love to get the Avengers match with Joshua. Um, I, I understand that's my ticket back to success with Joshua. I had the world title shot with him one time in 2016. Um, and I think uh, for him to come and, and realize, you know, Dominic's got the belt now. I want a, a you know, undisputed heavyweight championship about to go on. Um, he'll definitely he'll definitely take me on for sure. I would imagine then you think that the Joshua fight uh, tactically is a more difficult fight than this one uh, in this present day? Night and day. Yeah. 
nine day. I'm a completely different fighter now um, than I was against the Joshua fight, so I can't wait to see that match go on again. Uh, but tactically, that day, uh, Joshua was better. He was mentally focused, he was physically fit. Um, he, he executed his game plan, whereas I didn't execute my game plan, I definitely wasn't mentally focused because I was trying to adjust and readjust it and do so forth. Last question, guys. When he says that he wants to kill you and take you out, is there any more added like, motivation on your part? No, not at all, man. Uh, that for me, uh, I'm way, way too mentally in tune to be to be focused on what somebody can say, what somebody does. Um, uh, when I go into a boxing match, I'm not worried about what my opponent can do or what he's about to say to me. I'm worried about what I can do and how I'm going to execute it.